Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. This is Manika, TRA and research scholar from National Forensic Sciences University, Gujarat. So today I'll be presenting my research work on the topic antibodies modified screen printed electrodes functionalized with gold nanoparticles for electrochemical detection of morphine. Next slide, next slide please. Uh, so starting with introduction. So morphine is an opioid analgesic that is even recommended by WHO. It is basically a phenolic compound and an alkaloid that is originated from poppy plant. However, as it can induce central nervous system dysfunction and also it is poisonous in high doses. So we need to monitor its uh, concentration in different samples so as to avoid its overdose and abuse in uh, induced toxication. Next slide. So for my current study, I worked on electrochemical workstation, which is basically a multi-channel potential state or galvanostat that is used for electrochemical measurements in two different modes. So there are basically different, different modes available. So uh, for my study, I use these two specifically. So the first one that is cyclic voltammetry mode, it uses a wide range of current that is varied or changed over potential. And in DPV, that is a differential pulse voltammetry, the potential is varied using uh, pulses of increasing amplitude. And the current, the cell current is measured as a function of this varying potential and also time. And in this slide, as you can see, uh, this uh, screen print electrode. So you can see three different electrodes, working electrode, counter, and reference electrode. So I'll be using this information in the coming slides. So next slide, please. So starting with methodology. So I modified my screen printed electrodes uh, using gold nanoparticles, and then uh, I further conjugated it using uh, morphine-specific antibodies. So to modify with gold nanoparticles, I use drop casting method where a simple drop was put onto the working electrode part. So I, as I had shown in the previous slide, that figure that uh, working electrode part is the center part. So onto that only the gold nanoparticle solution uh, drop was put and then it was kept overnight for drying. Then further conjugation was carried out using antibody while following these several steps, which started with initial washing for uh, first with PBS, then with 40 microliter of 1% BSA. It was kept there for 15 minutes, then it was wa washed off. Then further conjugation was done using antibody solution for 1.5 hour. And then it was further washed with PBS to remove the unbound uh, antibodies. Then further blocking was done using 2% BSA for 15 minutes. Then it was further washed off with PBS. Then finally, the analysis was carried out using 20 microliter of analyte that was prepared. So that I'll explain in the next slide. Next slide, please. So to prepare morphine standard stock solution, different concentrations were created, uh, were prepared by using serial dilution method. So up to nano ranges, I went up to na nano ranges basically. So here the, uh, the different concentrations were diluted using 0 0.05 molar PBS of pH 7. And then voltammogram data was collected both on bare electrode and on the modified that I did uh, using those uh, methods that I mentioned. So first for blank reading, uh, PBS, a drop of PBS was put to uh, for blank reading, then a drop of each concentration that were prepared by serial dilution were put and then uh, the readings were taken and the flow you can see in the figure all, in these figures also. Next slide, please. Ne yes, uh, in the results. So first I compared the uh, peaks that I got for uh, unmodified uh, electrodes and with the modified electrodes. So in the both modes, I, I'm comparing on this slide. So particularly I'm showing for 1.56 micromolar morphine concentration. So uh, when I used the modified electrode, it was showing enhancement in the peak. Next slide, please. Then I also did interferent study using codeine. So in codeine, I specifically did with 12.5 uh, micromolar concentration and it could be seen that uh, the peak with coding was at different position and at different height. So it can be concluded that uh, this particular method that I'm using for morphine can be used specifically morphine, uh, can be used specifically for morphine as it's uh, not giving the same peak and say, uh, at same position and same height for any other uh, adulterant that, uh, interferon that can be present. And codeine is the most related one as it is from the same uh, drugs uh, group. Then next slide, please. So then I further optimized these electrodes by considering several parameters. So first I started with concentrations. So for CV mode and for, bo like for both uh, CV and DPV mode, I started with 3.1 to 5 micromolar concentration. And, and then I, uh, by serially diluting my uh, standard stock solution, I went up to six uh, nanomole, that is 0 0.00585 uh, micromole. 
and as you can see in both the modes in both cv and dpv that by increasing the by decreasing the p, uh, concentration the peak height was also getting decreased and up to only 6 mic nanomole i was able to get sufficient uh, height like uh, so that i could detect morphine at up to that level so next slide please then i further include uh, use this uh, these two parameters also for optimization accumulation and accumulation time and scan rate since these two parameters are not cannot be included in dpv mode so uh, for these parameters only cv mode was there to study so in accumulation time i started with uh, 5 second and then went up to 300 second so and for scan rate i started with 0.1 to up to 1 so in the, uh, here also you can see with that increase in the uh, time in accumulation time the peak height was also getting increased and with the increase in the cons uh, scan rate the peak height was got getting increased then next slide Am I audible? Yes, you are yes. audible. Okay, okay. Huh. Then uh, I calculated correlation coefficient for both the modes. So for CV, five different uh, concentrations were taken into consideration starting in micromole. So correlation coefficient came out to be 0.99. That is, uh, that is considered quite good. Then next slide. Next slide, please. For DPV mode, I could uh, take some more concentration into consideration. So I uh, started from 6 nanomole and then went up to 1.562 uh, micromole and the correlation coefficient came out to be 0 0.99276. Then uh, next slide. So I calculated LOD and LOQs for both the modes. So LOD for in CV mode came out to be uh, 0 0.108 micromole and in DPV it came out uh, 0 0.0997 micromole. LOQ in CV came out to be 0 0.328 micromole and in DPV it came out to be 0 0.302. Then my discussion part, next slide. So talking now, I'll be discussing what, we, uh, what I'm uh, doing, like what I did. Basically, we all know that uh, there are several different instruments available, like sophisticated ones, like TLC, like several techniques are also there, like TLC, and then instruments like GC, LC, SPI, and all those things, but they are quite expensive and time consuming. Now, uh, for the current study, I used electrochemical sensor. So the use, uh, so I explored this, these, particu these particular instruments for their minimal cost, and they are port portable also. So we can take these instruments on site for their examination, and they are high sensitive like they show high sensitivity and they are very easy to operate also like for gc and lc we need someone who is very uh, like who is expert in the instrument like software wise but with this instrument they are quite easy from the software and also so we can easily operate on site with someone who is not from the uh, analytical background uh, moreover there are several studies that are conducted by lee et al nf et al then virenter et al but they uh, detected morphine only up to microgram level However, in the current study, we could detect morphine up to nano ranges as gold nanoparticles were in use, which increase the surface area. Like uh, these nanoparticles basically increases the surface area. Uh, they are like they uh, the surface like the size of the nanoparticle is, is uh, decided in such a way that they the uh, relative surface area to volume ratio get increased. As a result, it increases the sensitivity of the device. Moreover, antibodies were absorbed onto the surface further after gold nanoparticle modification, uh, which uh, increased the selectivity of the sensor by giving, like as it was detecting the analyte of our interest, that is morphine, by antibody antigen recognition. So now my final last slide. Next slide, please. So uh, as I discussed that... Uh, I conclude that gold nanoparticles, the use of gold nanoparticles increase the sensitivity of the sensing platform and the use of antibodies increase the selectivity of the sensing platform. Correlation coefficient values for CV, CV and DPV mode came out to be 0.99568 and 0.99276 respectively. And LOD values for CV and DPV are 0 0.0108 micromole and 0 0.0997 for uh, DPV. And LOQ values 0.328 micromole and 0.302 for Z, Z, uh, CV and DPV respectively. And these are the references. So I'm mentioning only a few of them.
uh, and thank you.